was a little older, but he was the holder of the key to her heart. The struggles and the lessons and the heartache. How much can one woman's heart take? Till highly supreme, like something from a dream. The conquering the lion turned that girl into a Example of the king, love has found I. Finally, taking it slow, but not letting go. I take a risk, I let him in. I am not afraid, I trust in the king. Calisilas is here, the trinity with Empress Men. And so, man, don't forget the power to the Uniting duality is evidence with both are the same. One thing the principle, just two separate names. Reminder of the balance that we have to maintain. And the peace it is possible to gain now that love has found out. Finally, for a heart and bring the healing. He learned from the example of the king. Love has found out. Our national anthem represents the beauty, pride, strength, and resilience of Jamaica and our people. My name is Agent Sasko. Please stand as we honor Jamaica, our culture, and our history.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miss Jamaica Grand Carnation 2022. Contestant number one, Garisha Grant, Miss Courtley Hotel Group. Contestant number two. Let's invite contestant number one once again, Garisha Grant, and she'll be sashed by her sponsor. You are 
That was contestant number one, Garisha Grant. Up next, we have contestant number two, Shanika Sams. Miss Mirkilani Swim. Feel it in my soul. Leave me wanting more. Give it up. Contestant number two, Shanika Sims. You don't need to run away. Being sashed by uh, Interlink. Next up, contestant number three, Tashwani Buchanan. Miss Interlink. Next we have a J Bennett, Artwell Classic Prince. Next we go, here is Sabrina Ferguson wearing the sash Nutsford Express. So much, Sabrina. Next up, Lenisha Davis wearing the sash RETV. You don't need to run away. You stay right next to me. Stay right next to me. But if you wanna go, I will go. If you wanna go, I will go. That was Lenisha Davis wearing the sash RETV. Next up, Michaela Nathan wearing the sash Jamaica Observer. So much, Michaela. Our next contestant, Kamara Wright, wearing dining with curvy. All right, next we have Chevelle Wilson wearing the sash TM Ross Beauty. Just stay right next to me. We could go anywhere. I'm ready to go. Take you on a cruise. Girl, you are so beautiful. Love to see you smiling. The love we have is never ending. Tell me how you're feeling. You make me wanna run, run, run. Happy racing like a dog. All 
All right, our next contestant, Shanique Singh, wearing the sash, Howard Johnson Realty. Thank you so much, Shanique. Our next contestant, Tony and Martin, and she's wearing the sash, Emancipation Park. Oh, met a few lifetimes ago. You were Anthony, I was Cleo. Made the world a place only we know. If it's not love, then tell me what's the feeling you give me. Yeah. If it's not love, then I'm begging you, baby. Thank you, Tony and Martin. Next up, we have Rishima Daly wearing the sash lens catering. And our final contestant, ladies and gentlemen, Ashika Robinson, wearing the sash, Coric. We could go anywhere. Take you on a cruise. Girl, you are so beautiful. Love to see you smiling. The love we have is never ending. Tell me how you're feeling. Like a drum, 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 feel it in my soul. Leave me wanting more. Yeah, you make me wanna run, run, run. One more time for all our contestants, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the applause going. Shanique Sams, Tashwani Buchanan, Tajay Bennett, Sabrina Farkison, Lanisha Davis, Michaela Nathan. Kamara Wright, Chevelle Wilson, Shanique Singh, Tony Ann Martin, Rashima Daly, and Ashika Robinson. Are you seeing your winner, ladies Come and gentlemen? On. Let's make some noise for these beautiful ladies right now. Aren't they lovely? They are looking so good. Looking so beautiful. Let me hear the contestants who you're rooting for tonight. Let me hear those names go in the crowd. All right. All right, it's gonna be hot tonight. Lots of beauty, beauty with brain on stage tonight on show. Yes, lots of beauty with purpose as well. I'm talking about it. Talk about beauty, brain and purpose. Please head out there, my darling, because you're all that. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome our MCs for this evening, Miss Talia Suarez and Mr. Christopher Johnny Daly. Come on. Hi, good come evening, on. ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on, come on. So hold on, we not just a scream for the contestants a while ago. And we, you want us to walk again and make no, some more noise for us? No, I walk out again. This yeah, let, feel good. Come let's on. Let's go again, Johnny. Come, Come on, on Miss Suarez. Come on now. Ready? One more time for the MCs, ladies and gentlemen. You ready? Come on, Johnny. Hey, that's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> This is the Grand Coronation Spectacular of Miss Jamaica World 2022. And the Miss Jamaica World seeks to recruit the best Jamaican lady to represent the country at the Miss World pageant. And we're doing that by unearthing, training, and unveiling the nation's finest women through a national search and casting. 
Tonight's winner will represent Jamaica at the prestigious Miss World Pageant in 2023. Tasked with selecting the queen is our distinguished panel of judges. Yes, we have Dr. Sunita Myrie, Miss Jamaica World and Caribbean Queen of Beauty 2015. Let me see your hand, Dr. Myrie. Come on, Dr. Myrie. Round of applause for a judge. Of course, we have the nationwide news boss, journalist and broadcaster extraordinaire, Mr. Cliff Hughes. Uh, Mr. Hughes, how are you doing, sir? Good afternoon. All right, former boss, big up yourself, sir. <laughs> Next up, interior designer Cindy Breakspear, or very own Miss World 1976, or chief judge this evening. Good night. And we have executive financial advisor, Brandon Ferguson. Come on, let's hear it for Brandon. Next up, journalist and president of the Montego Bay Chamber of Commerce, Jeanette Silvera. Hi, and of Janet. Course, hi, Janet. We can't have these things tallied without our auditors. Definitely so we not. say good night to Aisha Ritchie, our auditor. Please, Aisha. Aisha's going to make sure all the scores are checked, double checked, rechecked, and we have the right score, right? That is correct. So remember to use the hashtag Miss Jamaica World and MJW2022 when sharing your tweets and posts on social media this evening. Please. Now, you've seen the finalists in their opening number. Now you'll have a chance to get to know them a little bit better. That's correct. Performing to an original song for Miss Jamaica World, a talent entry in last year's competition. Once again, here are our finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for all the lovely ladies. Here we go, all 13 Let's on go. show right now. Whatever we do, gotta get through this for and you. The world. The world's been going through it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But we can make it through this. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hand in hand we go. Step by step we saw. Move closer to the feeling. feeling. To the feeling of love. Where the music make you feel greater When you feel the beat, don't fight it Move your body, hey, just ignite it Everybody move, move, move Just rock and groove They say everybody move, move, move Just rock and groove With love, we can do anything If our hearts join in you
24-year-old banker and I love to decorate. I'm a 26-year-old entrepreneur and I love swimming. I am a 27-year-old chef and author and I love Southfish Rondo. Five-year-old medical student, and I love a nice plate of oxtail and rice and peas. And in Asiel, I'm a 26-year-old account operations officer, and I love foreign language television. <laughs> I'm a 21-year-old data analyst, and I love spending time on the beach. I'm a 25-year-old attorney at law, and I love to sing. Hi, I'm from Jamaica, where the music makes you feel greater. When you feel the beat, no fight it, move your body. Oh, beautifully done. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our 13 finalists. Have you seen your winner? Let me see the post. I see Gold and Nisha. Let me see those posters going All right. Up. I see Gold Tony. Let me see who is that. Check out the support. Team Lynn. I see Ashika. Ashika, make up. Big flyer. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Is that a go ash right there? Yes, I, love I see the a, energy. I, 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 you're, you're, who, who you said? Shanique. Oh, Shanique, all right. <laughs> One thing's for sure, all 13 girls are beautiful and they deserve your support that you're giving. Put your hands together Definitely. for them one more time. So, the Miss Jamaica World pageant would not be uh, possible without the support of our kind sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. So our associate sponsors this evening include the Courtly Hotel Group. Put your hands together for them, please. Thank you very much, the Courtly Hotel Group. Yes. Interlink Communications and Thai Flora. Keep that applause going, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we have Salon Innovation. Thank you very much. They are the official Hair stylists for today. Yes. The Jamaica Observer. Thank you so much, Jamaica Observer. 
not for the express or official transport for the pageant. Yes, and some additional sponsors this evening. We have RETV. We're actually live on RETV as well. The Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, and as Johnny mentioned, the Jamaica Observer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for all our sponsors, all our sponsors this evening. They deserve all the praise that we can give. Now, Daniel John Jackson is a disciplined and soulful saxophonist with over 10 years experience in musical arrangement, performance, and ministry. He loves, he loves the gift, of course, of giving and, of course, making souls and sweet melodies. Ladies and gentlemen, he has been showcasing his best of talents in Kingston at the Kingston Night Market Live and special uh, among a host of other events. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for this very talented Jamaican, Daniel, Daniel John, John Jackson! Jackson.
ready. So let's go. Carisha looking beautiful there. Salia. Next up we have contestant number two, Shanika Sams. Wearing the sash. Mia Kalani swim. Shanika is 24 years old. She is a cashier. And her beauty with a purpose. It's all about agro employment and skills training. Let's hear it for Shanika Sams. Tashwania Buchanan. Tashwania is sponsored by Interlink and she's 19 years old. She's a BPO, BPO account manager and her beauty with a purpose focus is inner city youth development keep the applause going ladies and gentlemen how is she looking absolutely beautiful There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Tashwania Buchanan. Thank you, Tashwania. <laughs> contestant number four, ladies and gentlemen, Tajay Bennett. Sponsored by Artwell Classic Prince. Teche is, of course, uh, 23 years old. She is a law student. And her beauty with a purpose focus is fix your crown. Let's hear it for this 23-year-old law student, ladies and gentlemen. to Jay Bennett. And to Jay makes way for contestant number five, Sabrina Farkison. <laughs> Sabrina, 
Sabrina is sponsored by Nutsford Express. She is a 20-year-old science and technology student. And her beauty with a purpose. And her beauty with a purpose is Purple Saxifrage Initiative. Round of applause for contestant number five, ladies and gentlemen, Sabrina Farkason. Thank you, Sabrina. Contestant number six, Lenisha Davis. Lenisha is proudly sponsored by RETV. Lenisha is 25 years old and she is a dental hygienist. Her beauty with a purpose focus is Confident Smiles. Evening wear, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Lenisha Davis, Miss RETV. Is she smiling with confidence? We think so. Next up we have contestant number seven, Michaela Nathan. Let's hear it for Nick Michaela. Yes. She's proudly sponsored by Jamaica Observer. And she's a 24 year old banker. Her Beauty with a Purpose project is Children with a Purpose. One more time for contestant number seven. Michaela Nathan. Beautiful, thank you very much, Michaela. Then we have contestant number eight, ladies and gentlemen. Kama Wright. Kamara Wright. Let me get that right. Her sponsor, Dining with Curvy. Kamara is just 27 years of age. She is a company chef. Certified nutrition and coach. Pending. And her beauty with a purpose is empowerment. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamara Wright. Look at that smile. Thank you so much, Kamara. Next to grace the stage, contestant number nine, Chevelle Wilson. And Chevelle is sponsored by TM Ross Beauty. She's a 26-year-old entrepreneur, and her beauty with a purpose focus is AgriGrow. That's a great focus. Yes. Let's show her some love, ladies and gentlemen. Contestant number nine, Chevelle Wilson.
Thank you so much, Chevelle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it now for contestant number 10, Shanique Singh. And Shanique is sponsored by Howard Johnson Realty. This medical student is uh, just 25 years old, years old. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for Shanique Singh. <laughs> Shanique's beauty with a purpose focus is a holistic approach to the reproductive and sexual health of females. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Shanique Singh. And Shanique makes way for contestant number 11, Tony Ann Martin. Tony Ann is sponsored by Emancipation Park, and she's a 26-year-old account operations manager. We should also let you know that Tony Ann's Beauty with a Purpose project is titled Overcoming You. Keep that applause going, ladies and gentlemen, for Tony Ann Martin, contestant number 11. Thank you, Tony Ann Martin. Contestant number 12, ladies and gentlemen, Rishima Daly. Sponsored by Lens Catering. Rishima Daly is just 21 years old. She is a administrative assistant. And Rishima's Beauty with a Purpose Focus is Immaculate Coastal Ecosystem, otherwise called ICE. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for <laughs> Lens Catering sponsored Rishima Daily. Thank you so much, Rashima. And our final contestant this evening, Ashika Robinson. Ashika is sponsored by Coric. And she's just 25. She's also an attorney at law. Ashika's beauty with a purpose focus is all about reclaiming your power after sexual trauma. She looking, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny, that's what turquoise. All thirteen ladies, yes. looking so lovely in their evening wear. Thank you so much, Ashika. I just love their beauty with a purpose focus. Definitely, wonderful. Yes, it's so diverse. 
But one thing's for sure, ladies and gentlemen, we're not just all about beauty here this evening. We're talking about purpose. We're talking about brains. Absolutely. Yes. So do you want to see all the 13 ladies one more time? Yes. Let's go. How are the ladies looking? Contestant number one, Garisha Grant. Contestant number two, Shanika Sams. Contestant number three, Tashwania Buchanan. Contestant number four, Tajay Bennett. Contestant number five, Sabrina Farkerson. Contestant number six, Lanisha Davis. Contestant number seven, Michaela Nathan. Contestant number eight, Kamara Wright. Contestant number nine, Chevelle Wilson. Contestant number 10, Shanique Singh. Let's hear it for Tony and Martin. Contestant number 11. Contestant number 12, Rashima Daly. And of course, Ashika Robinson. Have you seen your winner? Let me hear which contestant is your winner. Let me hear those numbers. Let me hear those numbers. Wow. I would not want to be a judge tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This must be so difficult. They're looking so lovely, all of them. We hear the crowd going. But of course, we have to serenade our ladies because they're looking so lovely. So Absolutely. at this time, let's invite Daniel John once more to the stage.
Let's keep the chairs going. In the meantime, we have to say a special thank you to Daniel John Jackson. Round of applause for Daniel John Jackson one more time, ladies and gentlemen. He did an amazing job at serenading the ladies this evening. Great job. And of course, our final 13. I know you're seeing your winner. Are you seeing your winner, guys? Let me hear it and let me see those posters. Is it contestant number one? Is it contestant number two? Or is it contestant number three? How about contestant number four? Contestant number five? How about contestant number six? How about contestant number seven? Is it contestant number seven? Yeah. Contestant number eight? How about contestant number nine? Or contestant number 10? Contestant number 11? Or is it contestant number 12? Tell you what, is it contestant number 13? All right, things are heating up nicely. And we have to say a very special thank you to Fenton Skin. The ladies were presented with gift packages from them. And of course, they also received boxes presented by Tamia Carey. So a round of applause for our sponsors who, pre who presented our lovely ladies with some really nice gift packages yes. this evening. I think I also saw Weston Horton on yes. stage doing the presentations as well. Sir Horton, good afternoon to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you see all the ladies, all 13, we will be announcing our top 10 contestants. All right, I know you're ready for that, but first we need to announce the winners of the Fast Track events. Yes. So there are actually five such events. That's correct. With the winner of each event automatically advancing to the top 10. Now, our first is our fast track for our Beach Beauty Challenge. Sponsored by Guardsman Hospitality Group. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the screen. Our Beach Beauty Fast Track winner and the first finalist to make it to the top 10 of Miss Jamaica World 2022 is contestant number 10, Shanique Singh. Uh, you're pretty life, Tony and Singh. With me angel with all the two wings, yeah. When you kiss me, darling, let yeah. me feel like I love me falling, yeah. So let's welcome our winner, Shanique Singh. And Shanique will receive her trophy from Guardsman Hospitality Group. Yes, and Hope Zoo as well. And she'll be presented with her award by Tyreek McLean. Oh, no. Okay. I guess I got the wrong name. Representing Hope Zoo and Guardsman Group. Congratulations. Congratulations. Shanique Singh. Next up, here's our winner of the Fast Track Fitness Challenge, sponsored by Jamaica Moves. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the screen.
people, let's welcome our winner, Tajay Bennett, who will receive her trophy from Jamaica Moves. And this trophy is being presented by Trevane Marson, courtesy of Jamaica Moves. Thank you so much, Trevane, and congratulations to Tajay. So our next presentation will be to the winner of the Fast Track Talent Competition, sponsored by Serengeti Hope Zoo. That is correct. Can we have a Shanique Singh on stage, please, to collect? Yes, to collect her trophy from Serengeti Theatre Home Zoo. <laughs> Want to thank our friends from Serengeti Theatre for this award. Clap them one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Serengeti Theatre making the presentation. Winner. Winner of our Fast Track Talent Competition. Congratulations again to Shanique. Next up, the Sway Model Management Trophy for our Top Model Competition. I think you know who the winner is, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, let's hear it for Ashika Robinson, who will receive her trophy. Ashika Robinson. And she received her award from Jermaine Dyer. The Sway Top Model. Thank you so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jamaica World continues to place renewed emphasis on beauty with a purpose. Each contestant was asked to submit a video of their projects. We were extremely pleased to see the, to see the passion and levels of uh, commitment exhibited by our finalists in projects focusing on environment, mental wellness, oral hygiene, gender-based violence, agriculture, soft skills, education and learning disabilities in the end one effort stood out based on social relevance sustainability and stakeholder partnership here's the winning project so you're raising awareness about period poverty, mm -hmm. which is in line with you wanting to become an OBGYN. Yes. Let's take a look at your Beauty with a Purpose project. I visited the Yadel Girls Home that is currently home to 17 girls, ages ranging from 11 to 18 years. I did a presentation to them on the menstrual cycle, what exactly it is, their attitudes towards it, how it affects us physically and emotionally, and how to reduce the impacts through proper diet, adequate exercise and physical activities, and even just a good night's sleep. I was able to donate some well-needed items to the girls. Picture a young girl experiencing her period for the first time. She is scared, confused, and uncomfortable because she does not have the necessary sanitary products. This is period poverty. 
and it is the reality of 44% of Jamaican girls, according to a study done by Shelly and Weeks of the Herflow Foundation. The Old Harbour Health Centre is a Type 3 facility located in the community in which I grew up. And within the community are lots of vulnerable groups of women and girls who have very limited access to sanitary items, which is why, for the second phase of my project, I will provide a free sanitary items initiative for these women in order to help the fight against period poverty. So, why is it important to remove the taboo around menstruation? So, menstruation affects everybody, mm -hmm. whether directly, whether indirectly. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's important that we remove the taboo because we need to allow a space where people can be educated on this topic because it affects everybody and the more we're able to understand it, the more easy it is for women to experience this natural process without being ashamed of it. Right. Because it's a taboo, you know, there is limited access to these menstrual products and right. they end up missing school because they don't have safe ways to protect themselves during their cycle. Absolutely. And people don't understand how important it is and, you know, once you really get to understand this issue and remove the stigma then you can really really understand each other men can understand women women can understand women and understand why we're like this you know and <laughs> we can therefore be empathetic towards each other and just just live life with love ladies and gentlemen our fast track beauty the purpose winner Shanique Singh. All right. Congratulations to Shanique Singh. Yes. And she'll be presented with her award from Estonian Layla, Miss United Nations. Wonderful. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Or three automatic top 10 qualifiers. Shanique Singh, Tajay Bennett, and, and Ashika Robinson. <laughs> and this means that seven contestants had a chance tonight to advance, advance to the top 10. Do you want to find out who they are, ladies and gentlemen? I think we're just about ready. So let's reveal the top 10, or I should say the remaining contestants in the top 10. I think, Chris, you're going to be talking to them as well. That's correct. So Let I'll me step out here just for a second. So I'll talk to you. I'll, well, I'll catch you a little bit later on. Just a little bit later on. Don't go too far. All right. Time. So you hang out with the top 10. That is correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Could I have on stage Shanika Sams, ladies and gentlemen, from Mia Kilani Swim. Wagwan, well Jamaica. My name is Shanika Sams, a 24 year old aspiring model who loves animals, especially baby kittens. I entered the contest because I've always had a liking for pageants and wanted to gain some experience in it. And I believe that it's, it's an important part in my growth and personal development. My favorite Jamaican food is stew peas with pig's tail. Who no likes stew peas? My favorite Jamaican place is Caymanas River. The water is very beautiful and clear and not to mention cold. My favorite Jamaican song is My Day by Taurus Riley. Give thanks for life, give thanks for life. My favorite things to do are watching TikTok videos, watching YouTube and singing. I would tell my five-year-old self to not be afraid, to be bold and just to try new stuff. Thank you very much. Shanika, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wonderful. 
Shanika, your beauty with a purpose is agro employment and skills training. Why? I believe that agriculture is an avenue that we can explore for job creation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Shanika Sims, ladies and gentlemen, Sams, Mia Kilani Swim. Let's hear it for Shanika Sams one more time. And let's welcome on stage. And we're going to show the video, of course, before the uh, young lady walks out. Tashwani Buchanan from Interlink. Tashwani. How did you, Jamaica? I am Tashwania. I recently completed my K courses at the Micro University. I am immensely proud to be representing the Olympic Guardians. I've entered the contest because I've always wanted to visit my country at national level and this is such a great and amazing platform for me to execute. My favorite Jamaican food definitely has to be curry coconut chicken with some scotch bonnet pepper on the side and some white rice. My favorite Jamaican song is Success Story by Nesbeck. I am a success story, yeah, success, a success story. I am a success story. Remove the I cannot and put the I can. The universe aligns with us and what's rightfully yours will be for you. As my grandmother would have said, what I feel, I feel. Tashwani of Buchanan, ladies and gentlemen. Sponsored by Interlink. Good night, Tashwania. Hi, good night. How are you? I am great. Thank you very much. You're passionate about inner city development, youth development. Why? Okay, so I'm very passionate about youth development because I myself am... Um, from the inner city community and i believe that there's so much more that jamaica can do for the youth in the inner city we need to step up now and take time to recognize that there's so much amazing talent but because there's little to no support to actually fuel the potential it normally goes to waste. ladies and gentlemen Tashwania buchanan Next up, we have Tejay Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. Tejay Bennett, sponsored by Artwell Classic Prints. Oh, are going good people? I am Tejay Bennett, a 22-year-old attorney in training. I am passionate about empowering women who have been victims of gender-based violence. I'm also a fashion enthusiast. I use fashion as a means to express myself as I believe no woman should be subjected to beauty standards that are constantly changing. I believe the organization is looking for a woman that is ready to represent, serve, be a role model and to project Jamaica in a positive light. As a woman who is not only passionate about representing, I'm also passionate about dedicating myself to a good cause. My favorite food would be salt mackerel rundown. From all the flavors that come together and anything with coconut works for me. My favorite Jamaican place would definitely be Portland. I think it's the best parish in the island. From the beaches to the people and not to mention, it's the best place to get jerk pork. I would tell my five-year-old self that everything that you're going to go through is only to mold you into the woman that you're going to become. Tejay Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Tajay. How are you? I am doing great. How are you? I'm doing great as well. Tajay, you say fashion makes a statement about who you are. Explain. Fashion is something that I used to express myself and beauty standards are constantly changing each day. This day, the beauty standard is thick. The next day, it's skinny or small and i think that in a good outfit anybody feels good am i right anybody feels good in a in a in a good outfit as such i think that women can use fashion to express themselves to feel good and also to you know stand out and not be subjected to any beauty standards Tajay bennett <laughs> thank you
Thank you, Tajay. Let's hear it now for Lenisha Davis. Hi, Jamaica. My name is Lenisha Davis. I am a 25 year old dental hygienist who is passionate about raising awareness to the importance of oral health. I enjoy a good laugh and I love to put a smile on everyone's face. I believe this pageant will afford me the opportunity to build my confidence, raise awareness to my various causes, and in doing so, inspire others to be the best versions of themselves. My favorite Jamaican food has to be some macaroni with some good Johnny cake, and when you pair that well with some good coconut milk, my favorite Jamaican place is the Blue Lagoon. We live in such a chaotic world. When I'm there and I swim across that water, it puts me at peace. Listen, little girl, you have a light inside of you. Don't let anyone dim that shine. You're going to go through challenges. Focus on your goals. Don't take yourself too seriously. And little girl, learn to wear shoes. Lenisha Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Lenisha. Hi, how are you? I'm good, good. Thank you for asking. Lenisha, why is it important to have a confident smile? I believe it's important to have a confident smile because it shows warmth and love and kindness. And not just that, I believe as a dental hygienist that it's important to have a healthy oral health because a lot of times that aspect of oral health is overlooked. And if I can have the opportunity to grant as much free oral health access, then I'm pretty sure everyone can have a confident smile. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ms. Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Michaela Nathan. Hi, Jamaica. My name is Michaela Nathan, and I'm a 24-year-old banker. I believe I have a bit of an old soul, so I know all my Mariah Carey's, Luther Vandross's, and Brian McKnight. I entered because I wanted to show that beauty is not just external, it is something intrinsic within all of us. My favorite Jamaican food is stew peas, and I'm not sure why I just did love all my mother cookies with whole heap of spinners. My favorite Jamaican place would have to be Reach Falls. I just believe that's a great place in which you can unwind and get in touch with nature. My favorite Jamaican song is Smile For Me Jamaica. Smile for me Jamaica, whenever you cry, here am I. Favorite Jamaican artist would have to be Damian Marley. I love the positive messages in his songs and he's a Cancerian just like myself. My favorite things to do are shopping, going out, having a good time, dressing up, I, and I love to go out to eat. I would tell my five-year-old self, chin up, stop being so shy, and never pass up on a good opportunity. Michaela Nathan, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Michaela. How are you? Doing well, how are you? Wonderful. Michaela. You're a stylist. What would you add to my wardrobe? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, the only thing I would probably add is just a bit of color. Probably your favorite color to express yourself. That's what I would add. But oh no, I'm not a stylist, aspiring stylist. Thank you so much. I'll add that color. Michaela Nathan, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Kamara Wright. Kamara Wright. Hi, Jamaica. My name is Kamara Wright. And ever since I was three years old, I have been in the kitchen with my mother, passing the scallion and the onions. Since then, I have pursued a Bachelor's of Sciences degree in Culinary Arts and Management. I'm also a published author and currently in training to become a nutrition coach. I entered this, entered this competition because I believe pageantry for me is not just a competition, it's a learning experience. With that in mind, I wanted the opportunity to advocate for teen mothers. 
I wanted the opportunity as well to further my confidence and develop my public speaking skills. And I also wanted to foster friendships and to be a part of a family of individuals who are striving for greatness. My favorite Jamaican food is definitely saltfish rondong with green banana and pizza pear on the side. You will time me with that. To my five-year-old self, I would tell her to believe in yourself. You have a genuine and authentic light and unless you allow that to shine, you will not see your greatness. So step out. Let's hear poor Kamara Wright. Kamara Wright, sponsored by Dining with Curvy. Hi, Kamara. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. You're an author. Why a book about and written in Patois? Well, I decided to write this book because I really wanted to pay some attention to our dialect. Brand Jamaica is definitely unique and I want to instill the brand in children, allowing them to recognize that what you represent is special. And we want them to also own that culture as well. So the book addresses our dialect, yes, but it also looks at conflict resolution because this is absolutely, especially now in our schools. Thank you so much, Kamara. Right. Let's now hear it for Shanique Singh. Hello everyone, my name is Shanique Singh and I'm a 25 year old medical student at the University of the West Indies and your future obstetrician and gynecologist focusing on a holistic approach to women's health. I do have a vested interest in the reproductive and sexual health of women and girls and so my main reason for entering was to use this platform as a catalyst to kickstart bringing awareness to this issue. As a foodie, I love an oxtail and rice and peas. You can't get that oxtail flavour from anything else and let me not begin on the oxtail bone. I love to go to the grill, that seven mile beach, the cliffs, the fancy hotels, now that's where you experience true island life. I love dressing up to go to fancy restaurants and eating fancy food. <laughs> I also love to go to the beach even though I can't swim, but I also love singing and dancing. I would say to my five-year-old self, you can achieve more than you think. So dream big, put in the work, there will be obstacles, but those are what will help to build you. Shanique Singh, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, Shanique. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Shanique, why should we lift the taboo on menstruation? Well, as we know, menstruation has been a very taboo topic, especially in our society. And when it is we have a taboo about something, we don't want to learn much about it and we don't want to hear much about it. Now, when we start to educate persons about this issue, then we create a safe space for women to experience this, this natural phenomenon without being ashamed of it. And then we can have further discussions as to how we can provide sanitary items for these women, for these women especially those who are living in poverty. You know, a lot of these girls cannot afford sanitary items and it's what we call period poverty. It is experienced by over 40 percent of Jamaican girls and removing the taboo will actually help in alleviating this issue. Thank you very much. Shanique Singh ladies and gentlemen. Sponsored by Emancipation Park please help me welcome Tony Ann Martin. Shikamo, Gina Langoni Tony Ann Martin. That's what he lived for. Hello. My name is Tony Ann Martin, and I'm a lover of languages and cultures. I entered Miss Jamaica World because I wanted to consciously and intentionally create the best version of myself. It's also the perfect platform for me to share my story and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Me, love curry mutton, with either a side of roti or white rice. Hailing from the hills, I love to be anywhere with a nice view and fresh air. My favorite Jamaican song would have to be Here I Come by Dennis Brown. Here I come with love and not hatred. Did it din din din. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow I all the days of my life. 
I love to be anywhere where creatives gather. So whether it's an art exhibition, open mic night, dub club, you name it, I'm there in the crowd. To my five-year-old self, never lose your kind heart, no matter how harsh the world gets. I'm not gonna make nobody walk over you either. Tony and Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Tony. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Lovely. You love languages, cultures. What's the most fascinating thing you've learned about any culture? Okay, I would have to go with Chile. I found it interesting that apparently the women, the women, my bad, keep their last names. And it's the men who take their last names instead. I found that very empowering. Thank you very much. Tony and Martin, Emancipation Park. Next up, we have Rishima Daly, ladies and gentlemen. Rishima Daly. Hi, Jamaica. My name is Rishima Daly, a 21-year-old from the parish of St. Catherine. I love to spend a day on the beach and socializing with friends. Miss Jamaica World for me is a doorway to give back, build confidence, learn lessons, things you don't even know about yourself, and most importantly, community involvement. Red pea soup, nothing can beat when mommy cook it with pigtail. Frenchman Cove in Portland, the environment, the ambience is just all in all breathtaking. Where I'm coming from by Lila Ike. Thankful for the blessings that are falling on my table. Learning all my lessons cause I'm willing and I'm able to do just what I can. As humble as I am, working towards the goal and we give thanks for helping hands. Definitely Lila Ike. She's very authentic and when you listen to her music, you can definitely relate to it. Socializing with friends and listening music. As the great Bob Marley would say, one good thing about music, when it hits, you feel no pain. I would tell my fabulous self to believe in yourself. When the world says no, just get up and show them that you can definitely make it a yes. Rashima Daly, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Rashima. Hi, good night. How are you? I'm good. Just for clarity, Rashima, we're not officially related, right? No. <laughs> Thank you. Rashima, you love the beach. Why is it important to keep it clean? Well, I believe that most of the beaches in Portmore have, are fully polluted. And I, that is why I have implemented an institution to clean the, clean the beaches. So that is why I believe that the beaches need to be kept clean because a lot of us, Need, love the beaches and we don't normally clean it so I, th that is why I definitely developed the institution thank you very much <laughs> Rishima Daly sponsored by Lens Catering let's hear it now for Ashika Robinson ladies and gentlemen hi Jamaica my name is Ashika Robinson I'm a 25-year-old attorney at law from the sunshine city of Portmore, St. Catherine. Well, I'm the quintessential Jamaican in that my favorite dish, actually a and salt fish with boiled dumpling, sweet potato, and plantain. I really love to be in the grill. No, I can't swim, but I would live on Silver Mile Beach. I really enjoy winding down after a long day with a nice TV show, a movie, listening to some good old R&B or oldies music, dressing up and going out with friends. To little five-year-old Ashika, I would say you are loved, you are special, you are powerful beyond your imagination. Who you are as you are is enough. Everything that you need is already inside you. So go forth, be as kind to yourself as you are to others and give yourself grace for the many mistakes you make as you continue to grow. Lovely. Ashika Robinson, sponsored by Couric. Good evening, Ashika. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Who are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Ashika, you are encouraging others to reclaim their voice. Why? 
I think it's so important for persons who have experienced sexual assault to be provided a space that is safe for us to be able to share our stories, tell our truth, and heal without judgment. You see, when we remain silent, it's so hard for us to get the help that we need, and we feel powerless, and the shame is not ours to bear. So it's important for us to be able to speak up to get the help that we really need. Thank you very much, Ashika Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had our chat with 10 beautiful ladies, Shanika Sams, Tashwani Buchanan, Tajay Bennett, let's hear it for all the ladies, come on now, Lenisha Davis, Michaela Nathan, Kamara Wright, Shanique Singh, Tony Ann Martin, Rishima Daly, and Ashika Robinson. With our top 10 finalists in our Miss Jamaica World 2022 competition. Of course, who is our winner? You heard the answers a while ago. This was just like the personality question. We were just getting to know them a little bit better. That's correct. And based on the responses, who's your winner so far? I don't know. This one, this one hot, this one is very tight, but ladies, thank you so very much. Thank you so, so very much. Of course, we'd like to acknowledge our partners for their support of the Miss Jamaica World 2022 competition. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they're looking so lovely. Each lady is looking like a winner tonight, Johnny. Absolutely. Want to say big ups to our associate partners, including the Courtney Hotel Group. Interlink Communications, let's hear it for our sponsors. And Ty Flora. Of course, Salon Innovation, our official hairstylist. The Jamaica Observer, Nuts for the Express, the official transfo transport for the pageant. And I have to also say a very special thank you to one of our sponsors, uh, Mia Kilani Swim. Yes. She actually gave all the young ladies swimsuits for the Beach Beauty competition. Let's hear so it for so Mia I Kilani. Think, I think she's swim. here with us this evening. I'm looking for her. I don't see her, but thank you so much very, very for much. your sponsorship. Of course, RETV. And the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission. Thank them very much. Now, we also like to thank the following individuals and organizations. GT Sounds. Thank you so much. And Dash Productions, official Photography and videography, beautiful. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's correct. And all our members of the media, thank you so very much. Now, are you ready for the top five? Wow, top five right now, Talia. Yes, yeah, so we're not quite ready just yet. Mm. But instead, we want to welcome all 13 contestants on stage for the announcement of the sectional awards. Please make them feel welcome, ladies and gentlemen, all 13 all contestants. All 13 ladies on stage. In addition to the fast track events, we do have sectional awards. I can give you some hints as to what they will be. So we have a sectional award for best personality. Who do you think what? would have the best personality? What? Who looks warm on stage and on camera? Like, she looks like a friendly person. Who do you think is our multimedia challenge winner? All right, pa. How about, how about most improved? Who do you think will win most improved this evening? Or the most congenial contestant. Wow. Oh. Or the most photogenic contestant. That's a top one. That's yes. a hot one right there. Yes, all right. So I think I have all my ladies on stage, yes. So, let's start with the first one. Best personality goes to Lenisha Davis. Davis. <laughs> and she's been presented by Miss United Nations Tony and, Lay Tony and Layla. I believe we have a video. Yes, I should also let you know that Tony and won this award last year. Yes, she did. As well. So, congratulations to Lenisha Davis. For having the best personality in the competition. All right, let's continue. 
Our next is our multimedia challenge winner. Who do you think that is, ladies and gentlemen? And the winner is. I tell you, you want to tell him? Uh, no, the Johnny, you tell him. Kamara Wright. And she's been presented by Jamelia Rookwood. Congratulations, Congratulations to Kamara Wright, our multimedia challenge winner. Indeed. Next up, most improved. Mm -hmm. Our most improved contestant is Tashwania Buchanan. Tashwania. And she's being presented by Mazika McDermott. Congratulations to Tashwania. Yes. Most improved. Thank you so much to Miss Jamaica United Nations. Next we have, ladies and gentlemen, most congenial. Who do you think will walk away with this, this one? This prize is actually selected by the contestants. Selected by yes, our fellow the contestants. Con the contestants had to vote who they thought was the most congenial of them all. Mm -hmm. And the winner is... Tony and Martin. <laughs> most congenial. And she is being presented by Miss Tony and Layla as well. Congratulations to you, Tony Ann. That's a special one. Yes. Her peers selected her as the winner. Our next sectional prize, Most Photogenic. Now, this award was selected by the official photographer. I don't know who you think that is. You saw, you saw a lot of those photos. The winner is... The winner is... Tony Ann Martin! Most photogenic. And she will receive an official photo shoot from Dash Productions. Yes, yes. Of course, the public was also invited to cast their votes for this particular sexual prize. Okay. As to who they believe should be crowned Miss Jamaica World, via our website at MissJamaicaWorld.com. So, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies, for joining us on stage. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies, for joining us for this sectional awards. Of course, we will be announcing our top five very soon. Keep the applause going. Don't they just look so lovely? I don't know who our next Mr. Maker World will be. Boy, it's going to be a tough one, like I said, yep. for our judges. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen... Tonight we present at this 71st staging a special award to an individual that has consistently contributed to the success of this franchise, Miss Jamaica World, for a significant number of years. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite Weston Horton, co-franchise holder, yes. to make this presentation. Good night, sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're presenting this award to Mrs. Jun Wang and General Food Supermarket. Last year, she worked as a sponsor for uh, Miss Jamaica, and she continued after that by working with her and doing a food expo and at her place in Ligony and they raised one point something million dollars for the mustard seed communities. So we want to thank June Wang and General Food Supermarket, and she's been represented here by a manager from Ligony Drug and Garden Center and General Food. So we want to present this from the Miss Jamaica World Organization on behalf of Daley Harris and myself, who really did a fantastic job in putting this and our last year's winner. Thank you so much, Weston Horton. That was lovely. One more time, can we put your hands together again for Weston Horton? And Miss Wong. Certainly well deserved. 
Are you enjoying yourself so far, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, tell you what, Talia, I think we have to cool off because top five to be announced right it's, now. It's, it's hot. We, we haven't received the names just yet, Ooh. or have we? I'm even nervous. Yes, okay. Here we go. Yes. Top five yes. coming around. Woo. Top five, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you say will make the top five? Do you have the names? Come on now. Okay. I think I think we need to take a break, Johnny. No. No. It's only gonna be for two minutes. Two minute break. Yes, one we'll we need right to cool back. off a bit. That's correct. Yes, because those answers were hot. <laughs> yes, they were very close. That's right. And I know the judges had a very hard decision to make. So Roddy G, we're gonna just ask you to play uh, some music for us for just a little bit. We take just a break. Just when just we come about back, two minutes. top five. <laughs> First thing in the morning, then she said, Baby, have a good day. She know you from me, she'll be calling. Tell me what more can I say? Feel like I want a hundred million. I found a good Yes, beautiful. Yes, hi, Amy.
Are you ready? All right, let's. Yes, we're still waiting. It's time to announce our top five contestants, ladies and gentlemen. Look to screen, let's go! <laughs> First up, Shanique Singh! Shanique Singh! Good evening, Shanique. Good evening, Talia. Are you ready to pick your question? Yes, I am. <laughs> the question is, are beauty pageants still relevant? If yes, tell us how. Good evening, everyone. Yes, indeed, beauty pageants are still relevant today. Aside from the beauty aspect, it's much more than that. The motto of the Miss Jamaica World pageant is beauty with a purpose. And that is about using your internal and external beauty to have a purpose, to, to create change in the world, to create change in your country. It's more than just a beauty pageant. It is the voice for the voiceless. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shanique. Shanique Singh, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, making top five. Our next contestant making top five. Lenisha Davis. Lenisha Davis. Miss RETV. Good evening, Lanisha. Good evening, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Awesome, please pick your question. The question is, what is the most important thing that you have learned from the Miss Jamaica World pageant? I believe the most important thing I've learned is that I shouldn't take myself too seriously. 
and that everything happens for a reason and a purpose and that I'm here for a purpose and I will never apologize for my presence and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to continue being myself, inspiring others and hopefully they'll be the best versions of themselves. So thank you so much, Denisha. Denisha Davis, ladies and gentlemen, top five. Who do we have coming up next? Next, top five contestant. Tejay Bennett. Tejay Bennett, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Tejay. Miss World Classic Prince. Tajay, good evening. Please choose your question. Your question is, gender-based violence is a major issue around the world. What is one way that we may address that issue? Thank you so much for that question. I think that one way in which we can address gender-based violence is to review our laws. We need to start with reviewing our laws. We need to implement harsher penalties for perpetrators, and that should be definitely be a start for gender-based violence. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tajay. Thank you, Tajay. Who's next? Top five contestants. Let's go. Top five, Ashika, Ashika Robinson. Good evening, Ashika. Good evening. How are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed. Blessed indeed. Please choose your question. Ashika, your question is, crime and violence is a major challenge in Jamaica. Give us one solution to address this. Good evening, everyone, and thank you. I believe that at the root of crime and violence is access. A lot of our people do not have access to the resources that they need, such as food, education, and employment. So with initiatives that help people to be able to sustain themselves, that they can get access, then there would be a decrease in crime and violence. Thank you so much, Ashika. Let's hear it for Ashika Robinson, our final contestant now. Top five, are you ready? Let's go. Top five. Tony Ann Martin. Tony Ann Martin. Miss Emancipation Park. Good evening, Tony. Good evening to you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Please select the final question. Tony, and your question is, why should you represent Jamaica at the Miss World competition? I believe we all have parts of ourselves that are perfect and that we're proud of and parts that are not so perfect and that we're not so proud of. As for me, I believe that my representation of both aspects of myself make me the perfect representative for the people of my nation. I'm a proud Jamaican. I think that I represent the Jamaican brand well. Everywhere I walk, I speak about my country. I share about my country. I am proud to be a Jamaican. And I believe that to go on that stage and to show everyone what it means to be a true Jamaican, to be proud of who you are, and to, to represent every aspect of who you are is important as a Miss World candidate on the international stage. Thank you so much, Tony Ann. Thank you so much. Our top five has been selected. Shanique Singh, Lanisha Davis, Tajay Bennett, Ashika Robinson, and Tony Ann Martin. Can we see all five ladies on stage, please?
Top five, one more time. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Our Shanique top Singh. five contestants, ladies and gentlemen. Lenisha Davis, Tejay Bennett, Ashika Robinson, and Tony Ansing. All right, I can feel the tension in the room already. Who's gonna win, ladies and gentlemen? Who do you, who's gonna take it? There you have it. Thank you so much, ladies, our top you, five ladies. contestants. Thank you so much. All right. Have you seen your winner? I can feel the tension in the air. Well, I tell you, it is palpable. But I tell you what, we've got just what the doctor ordered right now. Yes. We have a lady about to hit the stage that's been performing in Jamaica and the world who started her career back in 1980. And this young lady has been involved in so much of the Jamaica music scene. Performed quite as a vocalist with so many greats. Yeah, yep, like Peter Tosh, Jimmy Cliff, Toots Hibbert, Judy Mott, Bonnie Whaler and the fabulous Fab Five. That's right. With Ooh. whom she often performs live around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Jamaica's favorite songbird, Jim, Jim Myers. Myers. Thank you. For the ladies and may the best one win. Each day I live, I long to be a day to give the best of me. I'm only one, but not alone. My finest day is yet unknown. I throw my heart for every game. The sweet, I face the pain. Oh, when I rise and I fall, but through it all, this much remains. I want one moment in time when I'm more than. to be the very best oh and I want it all no time for less I play the plans just to lay the chance here in my hands give me one moment in time when I'm more than
this is probably the first time I sang with a live band back in high school. So to get a chance to record it was a really great privilege. If you know it, please sing along till it goes like this. Hey, you can't stop me now. Recognize this one too. This one is a very special request from Miss Delia herself. She said, if we even have to talk, this one, we have to go do it. And I'm not feeling too well tonight. I know you can't tell that, right? <laughs> but when it's short time, it's short time. And you're all here to have a good time. Once again, I'd like to say all the best to the ladies and may the best one win. This song from one of my favorite movies, Broadway musical. This is a song I love to sing, and I love to sing, and I hope it shows, ladies and gentlemen. I say this all the time. 
It is because I understand that it is not of me, but because God has blessed me. And I thank you so much for always enjoying the music. Stand up, thank you so much, yes. guys. 
Thank you so much, Jem Meyer. That's awesomeness. Oh yeah. my goodness, oh, beautiful. Man. That was lovely. Woo. If I could sing like that, I'm going to start up every performance, me do. <laughs> Come on now. Uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to recognize a young lady who truly made us proud during her reign. I'm talking about Miss Jamaica World 2022, Kalia Hall. That's correct. But before we uh, have a look at this young beauty, please, let's look at her purpose with, of course, her purpose project. Yes. And that is a purpose project courtesy of Miss Jamaica World. Here we go. Yes. Beauty with a purpose represented at Miss World Finals. Mustard Seed Communities is an international nonprofit dedicated to caring for the most vulnerable populations throughout the developing world. It began in 1978 as a home for a handful of children with disabilities who had been abandoned to the streets of Jamaica. Today, Mustard Seed Communities provides loving and lifelong care to over 600 children and adults with disabilities, children affected by HIV, and young mothers in crisis across Jamaica, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Zimbabwe, and Malawi. But it is difficult to create a loving and caring environment when basic needs can hardly be met. COVID is still a harsh reality and it has made daily life even more challenging for the vulnerable among us. Many of our children, their parent, who we have, or probably all of them, their parents have died from AIDS. In fact, it's not parents, many times a single mother. When this mother has AIDS, let's say, she dies, the community has a taboo against AIDS. We have found a child, you may have seen in, in, in Jerusalem, found in a pigsty in Montego Bay. Another child found tied to a tree. Because of the social systems that we have that break down health-wise, these are not captured in the first instance. So they're left there until some social worker by chance comes up or a community member call. Every child that comes into the world is a gift to us. And we have to take care of them. We have to empower them. We cannot abandon them a second time around. Once abandoned, they cannot come into our system and be abandoned a second time. No child, none whatsoever, who is brought to that gate by anybody must be refused. And the other part of that is no child must be abandoned twice. So we do as much as we can to ensure that they are as comfortable as is possible and that we can provide for them as best as we can. Almost 10% of our population is afflicted by a disability. So that is more than a quarter of a million people. And sometimes when they grow up, if they turn 18, they just go on the street for life. The mustard seed communities therefore became a priority for me as it speaks to my passion for the well-being of mankind. Through my Mr. Maker World platform, I partnered with General Food Supermarket to host a food pop-up and wellness event. I put my chef skills to work and supported by a team of culinary experts, sold meals to value of $200,000. A number of corporate entities were also on hand, donating $1 million in goods and supplies to the project which we were more than delighted to hand over to the communities. While this helps to address immediate needs, the Mustard Seed communities still needs our love and support. We have set up a gift-giving tree where customers can purchase a gift or donate one they already have to a child in the Mustard Seed community, while our fundraising and awareness activities will continue. It is important that we extend ourselves even more to meet needs of the most neglected, marginalized, and abandoned in society. I am thankful that I am able to support the mustard seed communities in Jamaica and hope that through the Miss World platform, I may extend even further support to other mustard seed communities all around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and 
gentlemen, Miss Jamaica World 2021, Kalia Hall. Presented with a bouquet, courtesy of our co franchise holder, Miss Dahlia Harris. Beautiful. Wonderful reign of Kalia Hall. Thank you so much, Kalia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, shall we invite our top five back on stage? Yes, and all the ladies, so we want to invite our top five contestants, as well as all the ladies, this year's finalists in our Miss Jamaica World 2022 competition. So of course we have our top five, Tony Ann Martin, Shanique Singh, Lanisha Davis, Ashika Robinson, and Tajay Bennett. Let's but hear it for the top five ladies, come on. And also at this time, please, I'd like to invite all our finalists. Here we have all the ladies one time on stage, one more time. Please put your hands yes, together for them. Or additional eight finalists in this year's competition. So are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? No, no, don't sound ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. In third place, and second runner-up to her queen is... Tajay Bennett! Tajay Bennett, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time. Our third place winner and second runner-up in our Miss Jamaica World 2022 competition. And she will be receiving a token from Mia Kilani Swim. Congratulations to Tijay. All right, second place. First runner up to the queen is Lenisha Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Lenisha Davis. Miss RETV. Congratulations to Lenisha. She will also be receiving a token courtesy of Mia Kilani Swim. And she will also be receiving a prize from Fenton Skin. A lovely gift to our second place winner and first runner-up to the Queen. Congratulations to Lenisha Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost that time. The moment you've been waiting for. Which one of our three young ladies are going to take this away tonight? Who will wear the new crown and bear the title of Miss Jamaica World 2022? Let me hear it. Who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hold on for a bit. Let's, let's allow, let's allow Miss Davies to have. Yes, Lenisha to get her crown. Her crown appropriately fixed all right ladies and gentlemen here we go your miss jamaica world 
2022 is... Shanique Singh! Shanique Singh, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Jamaica World 2022. Yes! Shanique Singh is your Miss Jamaica World 2022. Shanique Singh, ladies and gentlemen. I see we have posters already with Queen Singh representing A hearty congratulations to you, Shanique. And of course, she gets lots of awards and prizes. Yes. Prizes courtesy of Mia Kilani Swim, Fenton, Fenton Skin. Skin. And she will also receive a specialized skin treatment courtesy of Fenton Skin. And of course, we're gonna allow Kalia to crown our new Miss Jamaica World. 2022. We'd like to congratulate all the ladies for yes. participating this year. All 13 beauties, thank you so very much. Lots it came down to this day today. Yep. And they're all queens. All queens. All queens indeed, lots of hard work, lots of sacrifices made yes. to get to this point here today. And we are so proud of them. So one more time for our third place and second runner-up winner, Tajay Bennett. Or, Lanisha Davis. Yes, our second place and first runner-up, Lanisha Davis. And our Miss Jamaica World 2022, Shanique Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jamaica World is a production of Crown of Beauty Jamaica Limited. I want to thank you all so very much for coming out tonight. I want to thank our judges. Thank you, judges. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you all judges. for your support. We know it was a difficult task this evening. Yes. But I'm sure that Shanique will represent us on the international stage and she will deliver and do well so congratulations to her and all our winners this evening yes and all the ladies have been so beautiful yes and i've been blessed as well to share stage and podium tonight with another jamaican beauty thank you christopher Talia, always a pleasure it's a pleasure again chris thank you so much ladies and gentlemen there you have it your top three your new Miss Jamaica World 2022, Shanique Singh. Newly minted, newly crowned. Yes. Shanique Singh. Have a fantastic evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching those of you on RETV. Yes, you've joined us live. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. My name is Christopher Johnny Daly. And I'm Talia Suarez. Have a good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Good night.